Whoo! It's raining and it's thundering. What is up, you lovely, lovely, beautiful people? <laughs> How are you guys doing? Welcome to the video. Um, I'm here in Moscow, Russia, and I tell you what, only a couple of hours ago, it was absolutely bloody gorgeous out. Weather 30 degrees, uh, and now it's raining. We've got a thunderstorm, thunder happening just behind me over here. Um, and I thought, should I do the video? I should still do the video. It's only a little bit of rain. It's actually not, it's a bit more grey e grayer that way than it is this way and this is the way that we go in um anyway i arrived grab myself a coffee i'll sit down see if uh, it would pass but unfortunately it is what it is um i'm going to try and get out tomorrow as well to maybe shoot a similar video uh, we'll see how we go in this this video actually um but yeah welcome to you right there, little. I'll try and make sure we don't get any beads of water on there. Um, welcome to Moscow, Russia. My hotel is four stops on the train from here. Um, and when I left there, whoa, that was a big bolt of lightning just behind me. When I left the hotel, it was gorgeous. Got off the train 20 minutes later, and uh, we were greeted with this weather. But you know, makes it a bit more dramatic vlogging in the thunderstorm. Check it out. It's a lot over there, it's lovely. Anyway, let's uh let's mosey on. I am grateful for my InMotion V10 pedals with that um I'm gonna plug it here right now. If you watched the last video, you know I recently upgraded from a kit off eBay and Amazon, links in the description, uh, upgraded from the rubbery pedals that you get with stock V10 pedals to the grip tape. And it is raining and they're great. You know what grip tape's like? It's awesome. All weathers. Um, and that's what we're rolling with here. So we're gonna head into what they call, oh, it's all lit up, that's nice. Uh, Red Square. Red Square, we've got the Kremlin to my right here. And directly in front of me, we have St. Basil's Cathedral, which uh, we'll give you glimpses as we get down there. It's not very far. I don't want to give anything away. It's quite a beautiful cathedral. Um, but they're actually just setting up setting up some sort of event here um, when I arrived here on Monday all this was completely empty so you could just roam around I don't know if you can hear that on the mic because I got the mic inside here I'm not sure if it's capturing that maybe on the GoPro it might be capturing that on the GoPro yeah all this was empty we were able to walk down lovely day it was but, you know I'm glad it's um, it's chilling out we are still able to. I'm not going to get that one. I'm glad I brought my jacket, actually. Still able to go see some cool stuff. Check it out. We're riding an electric unicycle legally on the Red Square here in Moscow, Russia. Past the police people, friends just behind me there. Uh, directly next to the Kremlin over here, which I haven't been into yet. I don't think I'm going to go in. Um... I was going to go into the St. Basil's Cathedral, but it was quite um, busy when I was here last the other day, and it was a little bit pricey, I'll be honest. A little bit pricey. Uh, and I think the outside of the church is what we all come and look for, look at anyway. So here we go. Here's some glimpses of St. Basil's Church there. Maybe I'll uh, pull you forward. I can actually... There we go. Yeah, let's get a little bit closer because I've got you on the super wide. Whoop. Yeah, that great pedals. Whoop. Yeah, super wide. Super wide view. 
Yeah, check her out. Awesome. Your little ice cream carts are here. <laughs> it is a very cool, excuse me, cool looking cathedral, wouldn't you say? Maybe we can grab a little, um, little image here for the, what would you call it? The thumbnail? Smile! Russia! Woo! Let me lift the wheel up. Oh yeah, V8, nice and light. All right, <laughs> got to get a thumbnail in. So yeah, what a cool. So there's people there camping out underneath there, waiting, waiting for the weather to um, stop, stop the rain. But I don't think it's gonna, you know, it's pretty, although over there looks pretty nice where we've come from. So we're kind of doing the opposite of what I said we were doing. The nicer weather's that way. But how cool is this? This is pretty dope. When I came here, I wasn't sure if... I was like, I wonder if I'm even allowed to ride my electric unicycle uh, on Red Square. And probably about five minutes after I said that, there was somebody else on an electric unicycle rode right past me. So there you have it. There is uh, quite the community of electric unicycle riders here in Moscow. If any of you guys are watching this, I apologize. I did not manage to meet up with you today. Um, I'll get into that in a little bit. <laughs> Just, uh, let's check this out first. Whoop. Very cool, I like it. We've got a bit of a, see these curves in Russia, look, they're giant. Ugh. Oh yeah, just uh, mosey on around. Oh, you can't see no more. <laughs> so that's Red Square, really. That is, that's it. It's pretty cool. I like it. I don't know a lot of history about it, but. Oh, flipping it. <gasps> oh, that was a tasty drop. So yeah, I was hoping, nice, got some giant, uh, what's going on here? I wonder if they'll be doing it on the weekend, because it's still only Thursday here. So yes, last night um, was the Walking With Dinosaurs uh, <laughs> final end of tour party which we'll call it end of tour end of this tour party or gathering at a pub bar close to the hotel um went along it's good I had quite a nice time whoa that's a lot of water I had a really good time I had a few beers a little bit of uh russian vodka and it was it was delicious super served extremely cold and it's um, it's quite syrupy, like the texture. And you just sip it, mmm. That's how they do it here. It's lovely. Anyway, saying that, I very, very, very rarely drink. Um, and with a bit of alcohol and a good fun time and not arriving home till quite late. Uh, I was in bed most of the day, <laughs> as you do. Um, so that's the thing, I could have got up a bit earlier. I mean, I kind of was up, but I was doing other things, just lounging around, watching EUC videos and a bunch of other things. Uh, and then I head out and then the weather's like this. But it's all right, we're still doing it. It's actually, it's actually quite nice because it, um, it has been really hot. Um, so yeah, end of tour, man, end of tour. Now the tour, will be continuing for a short period of time um, through Asia uh, I'm not entirely sure where they're going because I'm not part of it anymore I will be leaving this tour from this Monday the 3rd of June uh, and I'll be doing other things in between jobs 
let's say. I'll be unemployed again, which this may sound strange, but I'm pretty damn excited for. Uh, it's been, you know, you get to see him on the wheel riding around these incredible cities, but this is really only one, one, the one time of that week that you, uh, that I get to go out and do this, sometimes a few times. And it is, it's bloody marvellous. Don't get me wrong, it's friggin' awesome that I have this opportunity to, you know, ride around on my electric unicycle in all these amazing countries, especially flipping Russia, you know? Russia, I mean, I'm in Russia. Friggin' all, it's bloody all great. What a year it has been. Uh, I've had a, a couple, two or three maybe people have uh, questioned whether or not I'll be putting together a little best of montage of the the tour there. So I think I've uploaded 50 plus videos, probably close to 50 videos. Um, and yes, that is something I will start editing probably within a week or so, um, diving in and doing a little montage of uh, all the places that I got to visit and hopefully you guys got to visit uh, through through my eyes, through the POV, through these cameras, um, all these places around Europe and Eastern Europe and Russia. Incredible. So yeah, a little bit sad, a little bit sad it's, it's, it's coming to an end. I still have like seven performances left um, none today. I've got two tomorrow, three, three, three on Saturday and two on Sunday, and that's it. And then that Monday, I fly back to the UK, fly back to Manchester, spend a little bit of time with some family, mainly my brother and my, my mate, my main man, Stevie Freeman. So I don't know if you remember the Paris video, it's quite a long one, but in Paris, you've probably seen photographs, they have usually they have all these chain um padlocks along along the railings sort of there but here in russia i've seen quite a few of these now they have these um yeah these trees where people can put their padlocks on keeps it a little bit tidy it's kind of nice actually it's a good idea i was reading something about that where they had to actually come along because the weight is, became quite substantial from all the uh, padlocks. So the idea on this this route, route, is I think I can go all the way down this way and cut around and then go into Gorky's Park, Gorky Park. You know what we'll do as well. We might, and because it's not raining, there's hardly anybody out. All right, that's so what we'll do. We're gonna test these grippy pedals out and go hit it some, oh, I mean. <laughs> the stairs are pretty easy. <laughs> but I tell you what, feet, whoop, feet just do not bloody move. It's amazing. I'm sure that's the same with all new grip tape pedals, but uh, it's quite nice to have, especially in these wet conditions. So yeah, guys, if uh, you're still watching, let me know what. If, you, if you've been someone who's been following the videos this whole time or you're someone like Ingi who uh, comes along and tells me he's going to go and re-watch re all of them <laughs> um, what, what has been your most like, highlighted video that stands out to you uh, I know they all can probably might feel very similar uh, to one another but are there any countries that I've countries or cities that I've been to where you're like actually you know what because I've got a little um, taster of that uh, that city from my video is that now on your list of places to go to or you know let me know I think certainly for me <laughs> certainly for me uh, I do have a couple of favorites um, which I'll dive into uh, in another video but I think off the top of my head some of my favorite highlights I think I really enjoyed Malmo a place called Malmo 
across the water from Copenhagen. Just had really great cycle paths. And we uh, sort of ended up on the beach, which was kind of fun. Um, but other cities like, I think the Eastern European cities might be my favorite. Um, just because they're a little bit smaller and uh, the, first off, the wheels were legal. Um, but I would say as well, like uh, Germany, even though we weren't allowed to ride around, I'm just waiting for the traffic. We've got a little traffic warden guy behind me. Um, we weren't allowed to ride on the roads or anywhere. But we did, um, we did manage to go hit up some skate parks, which is, I've, there's a little, tiny little skate park near my house in uh, Australia, which I'm certain we'll go and uh, have a little session on in the coming weeks. So that's exciting. I'm bloody, I'm, I'm pumped to show you guys around where I live, where I like, actually live. Because as, you, like, as you can probably tell, or maybe you can't, but I am originally from England, from the UK, from up north. But my home is Australia, because my partner's Australian and all that stuff. So that's, my, that's where I reside. When, I, when someone asks me where do I live, it is Australia. Um, although the past year has been, uh, well, just been on the road every week. Um, I'm ready, I'm ready for a break though, I'll be honest. I'm ready to be still for a moment. Um, so I do have my, if you don't know, my next job coming up is gonna be in a place called Macau, uh, which is the Chinese version of uh, like Vegas, the American Vegas. Uh, and it's very close to Hong Kong. I'll be working out there as the head of puppetry, the head puppeteer on a new show production called, you would have heard of it, Kung Fu Panda by, it's by DreamWorks. They're making a live show version, spectacular in the, the Venetian hotel, resort slash, what, what else would you call it? Uh, casino. Just quickly, I have not seen one of these before. How bloody cool is that? So this is a, uh, it's just, you see that? Just scooter high, higher. And they're not electric. No, they're not, no, not electric. That is, uh, so it's two ruples a minute, which I think 83 ruples is one pound. You need 500 as a deposit. That is wicked. What a great idea. And I do like how you do have to, you know, pop them in there. Which just keeps the city a lot more, uh, a lot cleaner. All right. So I, <laughs> I was aiming to go and check out this. Oh my, this, this is awesome. I've seen photographs of this. Um, and I've always wanted to come and see it. I just didn't know this was the, I didn't know this is, was what I'm gonna, oh my goodness. I wasn't aware that what this is, was this thing of what I've wanted to see. So when I clicked on the map, cause we're going into uh, Gorky, Park, Gorky Park, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I've seen this on the map and you can go out to it. But that is flipping wicked. Yes, all right, let me give you a, a closer view of that. You see that? That is awesome. That is very cool. Uh, there's no one on it. Maybe we can, maybe I'll pop down the way back. That is, that is all, that is very cool. Look at the size of that thing. I can see to scale, and I like. There's a boat. That's giant. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Uh, hello. Twenty minutes in. You guys enjoying the vlog? Hopefully, I'm not blabbering on too much about. Is that too close? Too much about me leaving. The end of the tour. It's the end of the videos now. What are you gonna do? <laughs> 
won't fit it in that way. I think I've got the picture. Yeah, what will I do, you know? What is going to go down after this? Because now I'm finding myself in that same position as every other EUC electric transport rider, uh, which is now I don't have a fancy tour that I work on that transports my wheel all over the world for me. Um, now it's it funny when I heard about this other job, I was like, if I don't, oh cool, look at this thing. Whoop. I was like, if I don't take, if I don't go to Asia, then I won't be, I won't get to uh, to make videos, videos around Asia on my wheel. And I thought that was that would be a really cool thing to do, but unfortunately, I had to make the decision. It's not all about the YouTube videos. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I was continuing on that one with that tour, this is a cool bike lane, isn't it? Stop saying psychopath now, because I sound like I'm saying psychopath. <sighs> Where are we now? I hope we can go through these uh, fountains. Woohoo! I was just about to say I'm regretting this, but it's all right. It's totally fine. Totally fine. <laughs> so yeah, because the tour's going on, I might my wheel will actually be. Um, I might go through that. Should we go through that again? Nah. My wheel will be staying on on the show, and um, let's go through it again. That's kind of fun. Oh, you're getting wet back there. <laughs> so I'm filming on the GoPro Hero 7. And I like that it's waterproof all the time. Um, yeah, so my wheel, I have been looking at trying to ship it back to Australia from here, but it was just crazy, crazy expensive. Um, so I've decided to leave it with uh, someone on the show and when they're in Japan I'm going to organise uh, some shipping courier to come and uh, pick it up and deliver it to either Macau, I think I reckon I might get them to deliver it to Macau it be a lot closer than uh, whoop, a lot closer than Australia and it would save me trying to um, ship it from Australia to back to Macau you know what I mean you know what I'm saying hello that was fun that was fun so yeah staying on um, but what I'm very excited about is uh, picking up the new wheel, the new Inmotion V10F um, in Bangkok, which I will vlog or we'll vlog the whole process of going out to whoever whoever is a, a reseller of Inmotion out there. Um, might even go out on the Brompton bike, like cycle out there and cycle with a box on the back. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, I'm excited about that. I have been eyeing up other wheels. Like my first, my you know, after being on the that King Song L, I was like, it's going to be King Song XL then. Um, and even though I had, a, I've only had one go on the MSX. Well, there's a Brompton, a yellow and green one. We'll, we'll go past her. But Brompton. Hey, look, he's got these scooter parks now. These scooter parks, uh, they actually have to lock them up now. They can't just leave them. Can't just leave them out. I 
Oh, this is cool, cool reflections. It's a great light for photography. If, you, if it's been raining and you come out just before, as the sun's sort of coming down, it's not right above you. Perfect, perfect time to get those reflection shots. And probably more so for a bit of filming. Hello. Yeah, what was I saying? Getting lost. Lost in distractions. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make a video from the V10. Uh, I'm pretty pumped. I can't say no to an epic wheel like that. And after talk, speaking about, you know, do we really need those wheels that go that fast? Uh, and it got me thinking. We don't, I mean, we don't, the power that's in those wheels can be used elsewhere. It doesn't necessarily have to be used just for hitting those top speeds. You know, it's actually really useful for when you're just riding along the streets or where, whatever, whatever you're riding against. And, um, so I just got distracted by this Ninja Warrior course. Yeah, it's really, really good for just riding, riding around and having that extra, that, all that power to help keep your, keep the wheel level and parallel to the ground, which now makes me think about those, you know, the M Supers or the Tesla, those wheels and how, because they're powerful enough to, to do that. Just, I guess it would be safer, wouldn't it? Um, but anyway, let's quickly go check out this Team Ninja Warrior course. This is sick. Okay, it's a dual Ninja Warrior track. So, in Australia, I was on season one in Australia. I made it to the grand finals as a contestant. I think I, I placed 10th overall. Uh, and then season two, they asked me to go back. I came back as a competitor, but then... Um, due to weather conditions like this, I just wasn't able to run on the night of the filming. So then what happened was, um, they I got employed as a tester. So I got paid to be a ninja and test and show, show everybody how to run the courses. And just iron up the course here, because uh, the company that I work for, ATS, um, they're the main, that's the main company who is that? No, nah, I thought that was uh, somebody I knew then. This looks like a different company. The build looks very different, a little bit different. Yeah, that wall looks pretty. Uh... Oh, they got like rubber on the wall. Interesting. Cool. Very cool. All right, checking that out. Team Ninja Warrior, that's what it is. So you have two competitors run side by side. Uh, and yeah, you run against each other. Whereas the traditional. The traditional Ninja Warriors where you just one at a time. Um, but the obstacles are a little bit easier, more flowy than the other obstacles which would challenge you more and you probably take a little bit less time, take you more time to get over them. Anyway, a little history. Less than there on Neil's Ninja Warrior. Um, Ninja Warrior experience. Yeah, they actually asked me to go back for season three uh, as, what did they call it? Basically to help audition with auditions and work alongside the directors to give feedback on, a girl, almost ran into that girl then. Give feedback on, um, yeah, the different obstacles and the ninjas and who, they, who, who to choose basically and what obstacles to put in their way. Um, but I had to turn it down because um, I was on this gig, this walking with dinosaurs gig. <laughs> All right, we have made it. I'm, I'm glad we made it here. How long have we been going for? What time is that? Hello. Oh, 30 minutes. Okay. All right, I know a good 45 is a good length of a video. Um, I think any more than that then uh, people just seem to get a little bit bored. And look, man, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away that people actually tune in to 
that length of a video. I mean, although I will, I will occasionally sit down and um, enjoy an hour long video. I'm actually getting through this guy. Uh, he rode around um, Japan for like 55 days. This American guy on his touring bike and he vlogged it, but he recently, don't know how recently it was, but he put, compiled all the videos into a seven and a half hour video, um, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm just sort of slowly getting through that. It's quite interesting. Um, I mean, I could do something like that for, you know, compile every single video I've done. I don't think it would make, it would probably make way more than seven hours, wouldn't it? That would be a beast of an upload. What have we got here then? Cool. Another little uh, ninja warrior something getting set up over there. So I don't know what people's preconceived ideas are of places like Russia, especially Moscow. Moscow is definitely uh, more uh, more Russian. It's more Russian than St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, because it's very, very close to Europe. Um, a lot more people speak English. It just feels a, a lot more European. Uh, where here in Moscow, um, not as many people speak English. And with you know, with it being the capital of Russia, as you would expect, it's it's Russian. And I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. It's so clean. People are actually really friendly. Um, the, like the to live here, like the network, like the the subway, for instance, is a me is ridiculous. It's so efficient, so vast. The stations are so bloody pretty. Um, there's just so many positives. I found really good food here. Uh, there's just lots to do. I mean, it is an absolute beast of a city. I'm not sure what that is, but that looks kind of cool. All right, let's uh, let's mosey on deeper into the park. It's almost uh, started to backtrack on myself there, but um, it's starting to rain ever so slightly. Um, got loads of juice left in the wheel. Oh, I'm glad I wasn't. I wasn't sure if I was able to get all this in, but. It's quite nice. So uh, I see there's Gotway Nicola comparison videos now coming out. Um, what do you guys think of the Nicola? Let me know. Let everyone know. There's also, um, I don't know a lot about it because I've only been, that's a cool park. I've only been riding EUCs for still under a year now. Probably like 10. Like, give me a little head. Like, yes, mate. All right, lad. Yeah, like 10, 11 months, maybe. Uh, where the guys in St. Petersburg, they've been riding wheels for about five years. One of them, Alex, if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's my first proper meetup. Uh, and they were super friendly, super lovely uh, guys who uh, gave, you know, gave me a wheel, a helmet. Risk, risk guards and stuff um, and then we just sort of went around the city um, got them tickets to the show came to see me run around in a dinosaur suit as you do um, let's go up here so yeah they, uh, they're all about Gotway right. okay. last time I shot a video in the rain I had like this blob of water on it it was just so annoying to watch yeah, they uh, they love Gotway. So apparently, in the past, Gotway sent out a bunch of wheels, and something happened with the motherboard, or I say the motherboard, but a circuit board or something inside the wheel, um, and it it it, uh, it was malfunctioning in a way where people were actually you know coming off the wheel whilst riding. And as you know, we'll, we'll go through that. Looks pretty cool. Um, as you know, if you ride an electric unicycle, because it's self, it's kind of self-balancing, 
uh, to a point where you know the wheel stays like this so when you lean forward it does slightly move forward depending on the wheel but um, for the most part it does sit like that and it's all done through you know the energy through the magnets and all the circuit boards and whatever else I don't really know I think it's magic and I bloody love it. it's like a magic carpet um, now for that not to work and you tip forward I'm telling you man it's game over the few times that I've fallen off even just in the hallways at work I've managed to kick, clip my pedal and fly forward and you fuck you bloody fall you fly you really fly forward it's not an enjoyable experience so for a company to have malfunctions you know you have other tech companies whose like, phones don't work I guess Samsung was a bit of a bit of a bit of a one with their the Galaxy Note or whatever it was where it's bloody exploding which was pretty crazy um, so yeah, especially for a company like this I'm sure uh, it wasn't that easy to come come back from but because the community is so small I'm sure everyone's quite forgiving so according to those guys and people who use Gotway now uh, since they brought out the the M Super X uh, I think all the problems were fixed and I'd really like to have another go on that M Super X with that 18 inch wheel, big fat tyre, um, huge range and it's been out long enough now where people are still loving it, it's, it's had a true test. Um, yeah, it looks like a beast, it was, it was a fun wheel to ride you know. Um, but I guess because I was so fixated on the power of it just being used for the sake of cap, you know, going that going that super fast speed, which a lot of people was were talking about. And actually, now looking back on it, like I said earlier, we're gonna go we're gonna go through this uh, through this door here. We might uh, be coming across the bridge. We want to stay in the park. So happens with these videos, I start chatting to myself, and uh, I lose complete. I don't know how, it's like I go autopilot, just riding around like a crazy person. So anyway, yeah, M Super X gets a lot of good reviews. But um, anyway, in motion, love, I love that they reached out and they want to hook me up with a wheel. Um, with no real, like, we'll give you a wheel, but only if you do this, this and this. It was just keep on doing what you're doing. I guess they just want someone who like myself who loves electric unicycles and I've got a platform that I've built on my YouTube channel and you guys watch it uh, I try not to be too biased because I'll be riding a, an emotion but saying that I've been loving loving my V8 and it hasn't failed me once and I've been all over the bloody world on it pretty much to a certain extent So yeah. Oh, weird. This might be the last long video for a while. Um, I, I mean, I really hope that the, this, the picking up this wheel in Bangkok actually happens because you never know with these things. Um, and then I'll try my best because I'm going to Bangkok mainly, like I said in the last video, to, uh, to get some dentist, get my teeth sorted out. Um, I say sort of, I just get a check up and a clean and probably get a fill in redone or something like that. There's always something, isn't there? Um, and also, on the plus side, I get to uh, break up the flight uh, to Australia. Um, but we will have the Bromptons, I'm pumped about that. Got my Brompton bike box, which I'll be adding videos to this channel. I was thinking about starting another channel. But I don't know if you know much about YouTube channels, uh, and they have quite re they've uh, got these sort of new restrictions. I'm going out of the car now. Maybe we can just go left. Yeah, so to like monetize it or certain things you don't get until you've got like a thousand subscribers or you've had so many minutes that have been watched on your channel. Um, so all I'll do is that I'll, uh, when I release 
Brompton videos, non-stop Brompton. You'll be able to see it because in the thumbnail it'll say Brompton. So I think it's cool. I think it's good to have the EUC, my favourite, but because we're going into new territory now where Neil just can't take his wheel wherever he wants. Um, <laughs> although I think the solution that I had, so look, so for instance, because I'm going to go live in, live in Macau for work, I'm going to take my V10 with me. Now, especially with in motion, I'm not trying to plug them and stuff, but like this, but I don't feel like the batteries in the in motion, they're just one whole unit and they do sit at the top. Um, and with that, people do say that it can be a little bit top heavy, uh, you know, each to their own. Um, but with that, you can take off the case and just unplug a couple of cables and unscrew a few little screws and the whole, the whole thing comes out. So it's, it's really easy to remove the batteries on, on these devices from what, I be, from what I've seen anyway, it might have changed. Um, I know you can do that definitely on the V8 and I've looked on the V10. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm a bit lost now, I've come away from the park and the video is probably almost ready to uh, bring to a close. Basically what I'm saying is, say if you've got your V8 and like me, I'll go move to Macau, I'll have there, and then what I can do is if I get another battery for my V8 and store it in Australia, at my house in Australia, so you have to invest in, invest in another battery, you can then just, like I will do with my bike, my Brompton, put the wheel in a suitcase a hard case or whatever and travel it on the plane when you arrive in the new destination put your new battery in so have a battery and a charger kit in each location um, that's what I'm thinking about anyway just so that when I do pop back to Australia uh, during the times that I am in uh, in Macau and there's another idea there like is that a service that could be, that could, you know, that could be taken advantage of? Yeah, we're spitballing here. To say if you're like a company in Paris who have all the, the wheel shop in Paris, e Uh I'm trying to get back to the river now, e uh they could have, a, you know, a small stock of batteries where somebody could come over with their wheel without the battery in and you know hire a battery and you can have those little locations all over say Europe for instance or some of those top main destinations where like somewhere like in the UK you take your wheel you want to go somewhere like Budapest or one of the countries where it's obviously legal and fly with your wheel you know organize it online online and go pick up the battery to use whilst you're I just completely come back on myself here. Um, pick up the battery, use it for the time that you're there, drop it off, fly with your wheel back, and you're good to go. I, mean, I wonder if that's the future. You know, what is the future? I was chatting to Bova in St. Petersburg. I was asking him what he thinks the future of wheels are. And he's, he believes that we're still in the early stages of... Uh, that's still a very niche thing to have, isn't it? Um, so I reckon, he reckons in a couple of years, like the electric scooters that we have, there'll be electric unicycle stations where you can just turn up, hire it and take it around and pop it back in. Or like I was just saying there, like they do have for mopeds in China now, which I've seen, Oh, this is muddy oh, on. No. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> um, come on, wheel. Oh no, <gasps> we're good. Is that why you treat me so bad, Neil? Oh, that hasn't happened in a long time. Oh, 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 oh! Let me get off this because this is a. Uh, 
That's not enjoyable at all. Flipping heck. Scrape the feet. Yeah, you could have something like that. Couldn't you? Anyway, you guys get what I mean. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think the future holds for these EUCs as a transportation thing. Also, I read a, a little thing that was posted on a Facebook group um, about the police in London, I think. They put on their Twitter account um, that they confiscated some scooters and basically implying how illegal it is and you can get six points on your license and a 300 pound penalty um, yada 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 but is it just scare tactics you know are they on the flip side of it are they because um, so many more people have actually are gaining access to electric uh, modes of transport um, and prefer it over a bicycle are are people using them more and using the public transport less the public transport service less and are they seeing a decline in enough decline in people using the transport that they are uh, they're noticing a drop in revenue um, and now they're they're like shit can't get this let this get out of hand because uh when, when we make as much money we need to make that money <laughs> anyway i feel like i've blabbered on enough um i think this is a good a uh, good place than any to stop Oh, it's slippy, flipping. I don't know if I told you, but that brand new Inmotion V eight wheel that I ordered, it's in England. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna transport all the way back to Australia and all the way to Macau, where I'll hopefully be re reunited with this guy uh, in November. And it is now just end of May. So yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning in um, I don't think this is going to be the last video here in Russia I'm going to try and get out either tomorrow or the next day um, but if this is the last video you watch here in Russia thank you so much for tuning in uh, I appreciate all your comments along the way um, it's been quite the the journey it's been amazing um, and thank you for the support you know like you getting all your comments in there uh, there are days like this morning where I was just a little bit tired um, and I, I wasn't that interested in going out and about. But, you know, here we are. I've had a bloody lovely ride. I've still got loads of juice in. It doesn't get dark till about 9 o'clock. So we've still got about three hours left. I'm going to turn this off and go for a cruise along the river and really soak it in. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you. It's been awesome. But uh, please stay tuned. There is more to come, I promise. We've got Bangkok. We've got Australia. And then after that, we'll be hitting up Macau. Uh, I've already asked the guys at Emotion if I can come along to the workshop where they make all the wheels. Uh, maybe we can get into get involved. Liam, if you're watching this, he's from Emotion. Um, get involved in doing a bit of testing. I'd love to do all that sort of stuff, um, and then using this to share with you guys. Uh, it's funny how that's worked out because Guangzhou is, I think, I could be wrong. I think it's very close to like Hong. You got Macau, Hong Kong across the water there, and then Guangzhou. Uh, which is just north, so it's not that far. So exciting times to come for electric unicycles. But in the meantime, go out there, have some fun. Make sure you wear your helmet and your safety stuff, and uh, take it easy. Till next time, live, laugh, and love. Uh, from Russia, what was it? F from Russia with love. From love from Russia. Russia with love. <laughs> Peace.